and I'll sit it down to the field. G, take it away. Hey, Coach, I'm down here with Coach Ma, the defensive coordinator, and uh, I, he's laughing. He didn't want to get on camera, but I'm going to put him on camera. When you get a shutout, you, that's what happens on the first game. You know, I talked to you yesterday, and we went over a little bit of stuff. You know, you were worried about with all the new players, the camaraderie, schemes. Let's, let's walk through a little bit about tonight. Tell me how you felt after the game. First of all, they, they had a great effort. We played great team defense. We had great pursuit. Uh, we played real aggressively. We didn't do much more than our base with a few little uh, twists in it every now and then, but uh, we wanted to see the game plan was going in to see if we could just play straight and play assignment football, and they did that, and they did it very aggressively. I was real pleased with the way we dominated physically up front, and I was real pleased with the way we ran to the ball. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. I know yesterday you said on your defense it starts with those front guys, and most of those guys are coming back from last year. They're Vero boys. They've been around. That's where the nucleus is, and now the other guys are coming in. Tell me about that front, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, Deuce is just a, just a fantastic guy. He's probably one of our better offensive linemen, too. We picked up a new guy that's uh, from, I believe, Illinois or something last week. Really dominant big man in the middle, and our two edge guys are really playing well. Um, we actually moved Deuce inside and outside, playing him on the edge. Um, Bacon got a little nicked up today. I'm hoping that's not too serious. Um, he did an awesome job at the other end, really containing that. It was a concern going in to the uh, to the game. The quarterback had the ability to extend plays and everything. So, you know, we, you build from the ground up, you know, and that's our foundation. Uh, I think that every coach believes that. And, but, you know, we, we really practice it. Now you got Northwestern next week. You know, you're a Miami guy, so you know the, the, the ability and the speed and the athletes down there. Uh, tell me a little bit about it, and will you guys get on it tonight, or when will you start looking at more film there? Well, I'm not going to look at Northwestern tonight. I don't have any film. Um, hopefully, we'll get something tomorrow, and we'll be on it. We'll be thinking about it. But, again, I, I think that tackling and running to the ball and playing dominant up front defense uh, really solves a lot of problems. We'll, we'll tweak a few things against those guys. I know there'll probably be a little bit uh, higher level of competition for us. Well, great, great win tonight. Always beautiful when you get a shutout. I know that, Coach. Way to be on the first game. Thanks for stopping by. All right, there you go. Our defensive coordinator, Bill Mata, along with GT Paris, and uh, talking about tonight's win over Dwyer and the performance. Uh, really was focused on the defense, but you know, and they did. They played outstanding from from the opening snap. Played outstanding <laughs> football, and that gave our offense a little bit of time to kind of figure some things out and and fix some of the mistakes they were making early on, Gary. Well, you're right. The defense did a just a fantastic job of overcoming the mistakes that the offense made early in the game. I mean, we had two scores come back, and our defense said, okay, hey, we're okay. They felt comfortable. They were in their zone, and they knew they were doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Good job by Bill Mata's defense. All right, well, with that, we're going to head back down to the field and get ready for our Scott Sporting Goods players of the game. And with that, we give the mic over to Dr. Matt Paris. Hey, guys, uh, down here with our Scott Sporting Goods player of the game, we're going to start with defense, and that's Matthew Bacon Sr., defensive end. Matthew, you look at the board right there, zero. Big goose egg. How impressive. Very impressive. You know, it's our first real game with the new, all the transfers and stuff. And I feel like we play as a family, and now really individuals really uh, taking all the credit for themselves, so this whole team. You really did. Uh, not just the uh, that line, but the linebackers. Everyone played really cohesively. But I want to talk about the fumbles. Two tonight. Run me through one of those. First one, I was just going uh, getting the running back, and the ball popped out. And all of a sudden, the ball's in my hands, and I get up, and I got the ball. And then uh, on the second one, just uh, we were pretty rushed, and the ball popped out and picked it up. There it is. You talked about some of the transfers and all coming in. What do you attribute you guys coming together as uh, so much to uh, put a shutout on the wire. Yes, sir. I feel like um, they came in and it wasn't really anything new. Like we kind of knew them already, and uh, it all just happened. It certainly did. It'd be a big test opening game next week against Miami Northwestern. And uh, what are you going to, as a senior, what do you tell this defense getting ready for that week? You know, just play with your heart, and uh, that's really it. You know. That's all you can do, and you do it all the time. Congratulations, Matthew, our Scott Sporting Goods defensive player of the game. Yes, sir. Thank you.
All right, guys, I'm also down here with our offensive uh, Scott Sporting Goods player of the game, Chase Stevens, big offensive guard for us. Chase, I'm going to uh, challenge you here a little bit on this. Ooh. Okay, so after the spring game, you guys didn't have a lot of rushing yards. Did you take that as a personal, like, hey, do we need to come out and show what we can do? Yes, sir. In the spring game, we only had 26 rushing yards, and I took that to the heart. I take pride in my running game, so as soon as I got that word, I made sure that this was a year we dominate the box. And you certainly did tonight. And uh, tell you about tell me about these guys that you got behind you and Hillsman and Osby. How special are they? Man, Derek Williams, Octavian, they run that rock. All Jonathan, we got a trio back there. They run that rock. And you certainly do. Now let's talk about the pass protection because you got a, a quarterback that seemed like he had all day back there. A couple of missed blocks, but for the most part, man, when you give him time, he can do something special. Yes, sir. We really communicated good as an O-line. We picked, we picked up all the right guys, and we made sure that we had to communicate throughout the whole game. As a senior now, you talk about the communication. Uh, you guys, uh, you have new guys on that line. You got some transfers in, but uh, as a senior, the veteran, what do you say to keep that cohesiveness? I think the biggest thing is it really came, out, came along during FCA. We started to grow as a team, and we started to bond a brotherhood. Man, it's, it's love in this family. I love that. I love that. Well, I tell you what, that's uh, 49 points on Dwyer, uh, powerhouse from Palm Beach. Congratulations for being our Scott Sporting Goods Player of the Game. Thank you.